Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I get asked all the time, what's your favorite typewriter? And the truth is, there's not one answer to that. I love bunches of different things about all the typewriters in my collection. If I could combine all of them into one mega Franken typewriter, I'd have like the perfect machine, but to me, there's something to love about every typewriter in my collection, and I wanted to go over some of the favorites that I have right now with you, as well as some of my other favorite odds and ends, so welcome to my favorites video. First of all, if you're only here for the typewriters, I'll start with those, and then you can just leave for all the girly stuff at the end, but if you're interested in learning other things that I'm interested in, stick around because I have some suggestions that you might be into. So let's start with the typewriters and one of my favorite things on the planet that I talk about all the time is the function that you can use on a typewriter where you use the front logo button on a lid and it pops open the front lid. It is so satisfying. This is my Royal Futura 800 Covey. He's from 1961. I love this typewriter for a lot of reasons, but that is my number one favorite feature on this typewriter is that you can use that front button to open up the lid. It just, what's happening? It just makes me happy and I just love it so much. If you ever find a typewriter that's like that, you will find yourself sitting there hitting that button all day. It just brings me so much joy. Another function that I really love on typewriters, and I'm too far away to show you how to do it now, but I love removable platens. They are just the coolest thing in the universe to me. I really love them for repair. I love that it's so easy to clean under them after you take out that platen. I like that you could interchange them and get them resurfaced if you had to pretty easily. I just love that function, and I first discovered it discovered it on a Smith Corona typewriter in my collection. And then I found out a bunch of my Smith Coronas have it. So it's one of my favorite things. I love it so much. And I have it here on this 1975 Galaxy 12 named Aurora. I love removing the platen on this machine. It's so easy and just so effective. And one of the coolest things that I've learned about typewriters in the last year. Excuse me, young lady, what are you doing? One of my other favorite things is trying to eat something that she shouldn't be eating. Let's see, what else do I love? This Remington Travel Writer typewriter, I haven't had it for very long, but there is something about the action on this typewriter that is so incredibly snappy. So it has a really quick return on letters coming up and down. It feels like you're actually doing something incredibly effective when typing on it. There are some typewriters that are very smooth feeling. This is not smooth feeling. The only word I can think to describe it is snappy. It feels like you're being incredibly like diligent and I feel very effective when writing on this typewriter. Not only is it really loud when it comes to typewriter noises, so it would be great for like a typewriter sound effect, but it's just incredibly responsive. And I really like that on this Remington Travel Writer. It's also a nice size for how hefty of a machine it is. Another thing that I really love is a one particular typeface. I honestly love the numbers on the 1975 Smith Corona in my collection. There's something beautiful about the round of the five. Uh, it's just mesmerizing to me, but one of my favorite typefaces is actually Steiny typeface. It's also called Continental by Underwood, and I have it on the Underwood Golden Deluxe in my collection. It's this very blocky geometric letter typeface, but the bowls of the letters, specifically on things like the P's and the B's, are super circular, and all of the serifs are very straight and flat. It's just a really interesting typeface. It's just slightly different than a normal typeface, just enough where you can actually notice it, and I really love having typewriters with interesting typefaces, and it's one of the coolest ones I've ever encountered on the Underwood Portable Typewriter. So if you've ever seen a typewriter like that out in the wild, you might want to give it a try, because it's a really cool typeface. And I always answer, if somebody asks me, what's one typewriter you will keep forever? Your desert island typewriter. And my answer is always based on sentimentality. And that would be my Corsair Deluxe from the 1960s. Caroline over here. She was my first typewriter. So I have this 
immense attachment to her. I love her so much. I think she's incredibly portable because she comes with her case topper. She's just a really cute and happy little typewriter. She makes me really happy to use. I love the color of it. It's my favorite color. It's very lightweight. Not the world's best typer for the feel of actually using a typewriter, but there's something about her that I just feel so in tune with when using. And every collector is going to have a typewriter like that in their collection. Maybe they really like the one they feel they type the best on. Maybe they like the sound of one particularly. For me, it's something about this typewriter that is just super nostalgic and something that I am so in love with on this typewriter. So that is my number one never getting rid of that typewriter, my Smith Corona Corsair Deluxe. Not the world's greatest typer, but there's something about it that I just love and it's one of my favorite things to own, period. Now, he's not on this table, but if you were to ask me what's my favorite standard desk typewriter, it is my Royal HH Elite Huxley. It's this big, brown, massive typewriter. It's so heavy, I could never move it anywhere, but I love the typing on this typewriter. We talk about how there's different functions and different things I love. If I could take the typing and heftiness and consistency of that HH Elite typewriter and put it into a tiny portable like this Remington over here, I would have the perfect machine. It is so consistent. I've never had any issues with it and I love how effective it is as a typewriter. I could sit at that and type all day long, which I can't say for all of the typewriters in my collection. Now from typewriters to typewriter repair. I do a lot of typewriter repair on this YouTube channel and on Instagram and I get asked all the time, what are my top cleaning tips? And I've linked some videos down below where I talk about some easy cleaning tips for you, but I do have a couple of favorite things. And my number one favorite thing when it comes to working on a typewriter is my air compressor and it wouldn't come up the stairs. It's massive because it's an industrial sized air compressor, but I love having an air compressor to do typewriter cleaning because it's a really safe and effective way to get out dust and dirt from all the nooks and crannies in your typewriter. I love using it and I find it to be incredibly effective for lots of other household things like filling your tires or air mattresses or just really fun to blow dust away out of the garage. It's a very fun, very fun and effective tool. I very much love my air compressor and it's one of my favorite typewriter repair things. I also have a favorite cleaner for the exterior of typewriters. You've probably heard me talk about Simple Green a gazillion times. I really love, and this is my favorite cleaner, the Simple Green All Purpose Cleaner in the Green Formula. Now I know the scent is not for everyone, but it's an incredibly effective cleaner. I use a microfiber cloth with it and it cleans up everything. I've never had an issue with it and it's one of my go-tos for every single typewriter. One of my favorite typewriter repair tactics, techniques, and cleaners. I also have a couple favorite tools. I don't know the size of these or the specific names for them. I just know that almost every single typewriter repair I've done in my collection has included this particular screwdriver and this specific set of pliers. I think that screwdrivers and pliers are the things you need to fix just about everything, but something about the small size of this one particularly, it's not like a watch screwdriver. I don't know what size it is, but it's the smallest one in my set. It's not like a jewelry sized one. It's just slightly bigger than that. And I really love the screwdriver. It's great for prying things. It's great for using on all of the screws and typewriters. I use this screwdriver for literally everything. And then I also pair that with a pair of pointy nose pliers. These are not long needle nose ones, but they are needle nose pliers and they're great for getting springs out of things. If you drop stuff, they're very effective. I just really love Love this set of pliers and I'm gonna buy a second one so I can just take it around with me. You never know when you're gonna need a pair of pliers. I can't tell you how many times I've been out there and I just really wanted a pair of pliers and didn't have one and I wish that I had multiples of this particular set because this one is the best to me. I also and maybe other people have better suggestions but I got this I think at the Dollar General and it is a pick kit and I use it for a couple things and all of the pieces are out right now. I don't, I think I got it in a stocking stuffer actually. And it's this like little kit that has a bunch of hooks and picks in it. And I've actually used this a ton of times and it's one of my favorite repair tools because it's versatile and you can use it for all kinds of things. I don't have specific typewriter tools. I just use whatever I have. And the different 
picks in this you can use for things like your draw band when you have to hook your draw band from one side and pull it over to the other. I've used this for that. I've also used some of the pointier and scarier picks in this to actually clean out the ink around a typeface to make it type clear. So I really like this kit. It's incredibly affordable and it's one of my favorite typewriter repair things which is a very odd thing to have but I really love having it because I find it to be incredibly effective in multiple use cases. So if you're ever in the dollar store and you see this kit, pick it up because it's kind of awesome. Now let's talk about typewriter adjacent things and accessories. So if you're not interested, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> so there are a lot of things out there that are typewriter related or typewriter themed that I've collected over the years that I just really love. And one question I get asked a lot is what's the best ribbon? And to be honest with you, all the nylon ribbons are kind of the same to me. I just go for the cheapest one I can get. But I recently got a cotton ribbon from Typewriter Chicago, and I found that to be the coolest ribbon I've ever used. I've included a link to that video down below, but it is a cotton style ribbon, which is a looser weave. And what it does is it actually gives you a greater depth of color on both the black and the red. You can get them in that bi color, or you can get them as a single color. You can get them in one spool or two spools. I love the tin because it's got a cool octopus or squid on the front of it. I think it's so cool looking and it's awesome to have a modern ribbon in a modern ribbon tin. So I highly suggest that ribbon. If you've never tried a cotton ribbon, that's the one to try. Very cool to use. And one of my favorite things to actually use on my typewriters, I have it on my Remington Travel Writer, and it's just another reason for me to keep coming back to this machine because it's got this really great depth of color on the lettering when I'm using that cotton style ribbon. Oh, here we go. Uh, so one of my favorite things, and I use it every day, is this typewriter purse. So I got this for Christmas, but I think they purchased it off of Amazon. It is literally my go-to everyday bag. I love it so much because I can take it with me and it immediately identifies me as the typewriter girl. I get asked all the time, where do you find that? I've seen them on Poshmark as well. There's also a teal one that I don't have, but I would love to have. But one of my favorite typewriter things is actually a typewriter themed purse. So if you ever are looking for one of those, highly suggest this one. I've loved it. It's never broken. It fits everything that I need and it's very adorable. Also, while we're in the realm of accessories, I have a couple clothing suggestions. So I am lucky enough to be able to work from home right now. So I mainly wear pajamas and leggings and very comfy clothes. And I recently got another Typewriter Chicago plug. Uh, I got a Typewriter Chicago t-shirt while I was in Chicago. This is the softest t-shirt in the entire universe. I will wear this for days on end. It is so comfortable and soft and it's got a cool octopus on the front of it. It's just really awesome. And he has other designs as well because then I got a second one in sky blue with another typewriter on it. So if you're looking for typewriter merch, highly suggest these. They are just the softest material and I sleep in them. I wear them all day. I They're just the comfiest thing in the universe. I also, while we're on the topic of shirts, have a typewriter database t-shirt. I love the typewriter database. Highly suggest the typewriter database as a typewriter product for anything, but I also got a t-shirt from them from Redbubble. I did a quick review on this as well on this channel, but I really like supporting the typewriter database. And to me, the typewriter database is just the most informative location you can go for serial numbers, for dates on machines, for pictures of other people's typewriters that are in the same year or age as yours. Just a really great website and incredibly valuable resource that we should all be using and supporting. So go check that out as well. I also have some art on this table. So I purchased this piece of my Barbie typewriter. So the Typing Pint, which is an Instagram and he has a website as well, he did for a while some commissions of typewriters and then he would post them on his Instagram and then use them on his website as well. I got one of my Barbie typewriter because I was so excited when I got her and it's such a cool and specific machine to my collection. The quality of his work is just amazing. So I ordered a print of that as well and it's a really interesting shape and size. I really love his artwork. So if you're interested in typewriter artwork, go check out his site as well. I've included a link to that in the description. While we're here, let's talk about some of my other typewriter adjacent things that kind of go into my next favorite thing, which is coffee. So I was looking for a coaster set because I drink coffee all day and I set it everywhere. So I did find a coaster set of typewriter keys 
from Flypaper Products on Etsy. So I did get a few of those. Um, I have two of them. They're just really great little ceramic mug resters, coasters, what are you called? Coaster. And I really like these. I set them all over the house really effective. So if you're looking for a coaster set that's typewriter themed, highly suggest these ones. And my favorite mug ever is this one from Novogratz Home, which I got at TJ Maxx actually. And it has a typewriter on the front of it, but it's also a very large mug. So you can fit lots and lots and lots of caffeine in this mug. It's microwave safe, very heavy, and it doesn't have a tapered side, which I think makes it more balanced. It's straight down rather than having a smaller base. So it sets down really nicely microwaves well. I love this mug. I can fit so much coffee into it, which leads me into some of my other favorite things, which are coffee and tea. And if you drink coffee and you're looking for suggestions for things to try, I suggest this Chobani coffee creamer. I actually finished this one two days ago. I'm out of it and I need more, but I found this recently and I really, really love this creamer. They have a lot of interesting flavors. This one is cookies and cream. It tastes just like cookies and cream. It's very heavy tasting. It's very rich. So if you're not into rich creamer, maybe pass on this one. But if you're looking to try something new, this is amazing. I would drink it straight out of the bottle if I wasn't, you know, uh, trying to continue to live a very healthy life. <laughs> In addition to coffee, I also really love teas. I got into drinking teas the last couple years. I'm not into the super herbally flavors, like I'm not an Earl Grey kind of girl or English breakfast. I really love fruit teas and peppermint tea. I go through peppermint tea like, uh, I don't know, like it, you go through typewriter ribbon. It's like, I love peppermint tea. I drink it so much. It's really great anytime you have a headache or a stomach ache, it opens up your sinuses. Anytime you don't feel well, peppermint extract is really great for that. Peppermint tea is amazing. All the brands are great. This is just the one that I use and it's very strong and I very much recommend it. If you're not into tea, but you're thinking about getting into tea, this is a nice way to start because it's a flavor you're probably familiar with, but in tea format. And I also really like fruit teas. I love blueberry tea for some reason. So I have a fruit tea sampler. I really like the true blueberry flavor and the zinger flavors are just like a little bit tart. So if you're into like tart fruits, you might really like a zinger flavor. And I highly recommend this pack because you can try a bunch of different ones in there and they're just all really nice. So from tea, which maybe you're interested in, and I drink it a lot on this channel, so I felt it was okay to include it to nail polish. Now I've done a couple nail polish videos on here before and it's kind of one of the other things I'm a little bit obsessive about. I love watching nail polish swatching videos. I will sit down and watch a nail polish swatcher just swatch different colors. It's mesmerizing to me. So I watch nail polish YouTubers. I follow them on Instagram. Every time I go out somewhere, I pick up a nail polish. There's just something about them that I find really relaxing sitting down and painting my nails. So I've tried a lot. So I recently got, let's start with this one. I recently started watching a nail polish YouTuber called Kelly Marissa. I love her content. And she did a collaboration with a brand called Starly, which is an indie nail polish brand. So it's a little bit more expensive, but she did a couple galaxy themed collections. And one of her polishes was called Diamond Rain. It is this bright blue color with holographic sparkles in it. It has this really interesting depth to it and you could use it on short nails or long nails and it just makes your nail look really sparkly and deep from far away. I love the color of this one. If you're into sparkles and bright, vibrant colors, then I highly suggest any of the Starly polishes, but specifically this Diamond Rain blue nail polish. It's just super vibrant. Now, if you're not into dark or bright colors, but you really like sparkles, I found myself using Hollow Taco's Gold Flaky Topper all the time. In fact, I used it in the close-ups of this. I have it over a different color. As you can tell, I'm incredibly passionate about nail polish. This is a really interesting color. I've had this for maybe two or three years, and yes, nail polish can last that long. This is Sinful Colors in the shade Copper Afeel. I hate the name of this, but the color of it is amazing. It is this cool toned orange cream base. And then inside of it, it has these 
green and blue iridescent flakes. So anytime you move your nail, it's going to shift in color in those flakes from a green or a yellow to a blue or purple tone, which makes it look different under every lighting. Every time you move your hand, it's gonna look different. It is a really interesting way to integrate different colors into your manicure. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit more neutral, but you still want some sparkle, this is a really weird color. And I think it's just one of the most interesting colors in my collection because there's nothing else like it. And it's just so strange. And I really like it. Is that everything? Oh, my number one favorite thing forever and all time is my best friend and typewriter assistant, Diamond, who has finally decided to fall asleep. So these are just a few of my favorite things. I kind of wanted to have like an archive of all the things I'm loving at the moment in all of the things that I'm interested in, including coffee and nail polish. But I really love all of these typewriter functions. These are just things that bring me joy at the moment. And I wanted to have that here for you so that you can maybe find some new things that you'd be interested to try in typewriters or otherwise, and maybe I could learn a little bit from you about some of your favorite things. So leave me a comment below about some of your favorite things right now. It doesn't have to be a typewriter thing, anything that makes you happy and is your favorite. Now, if you have typewriter suggestions, leave me a few because I'm always looking for new things to try on typewriters, whether that's cool functions, cool typefaces, cool colors, information that's gonna make me buy 40 more typewriters, it's a little bit of a problem at the moment, but I'm always looking for new things to try out in typewriter land. So leave me a comment below. I also have some other videos on this YouTube channel that are more repair specific or specific to the particular typewriters here that I featured on the table. And I also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. And I thank you all so much for watching and remind you that you're just my type writer. Comment below if you watched my bun fall from on top of my head to the back of my head.